but what about Wonder Woman 2? Well, we will now tell you what we already know and what we wish to see in the sequel. Therefore, we would like to issue a spoiler warning. Well, that's neat. What we know. As of now, there are two things that we do know for sure. First of all, Gal Gadot will reprise the role of Wonder Woman in the sequel, which is set to take place in the United States of America. In addition to that, Patty Jenkins is set to return to direct the second film as well. Gal Gadot's Amazon mother Connie Nielsen and warrior Robin Wright will join in the Justice League cast. We assume that we will get to see both of them reprising their respective roles in Wonder Woman 2. You have been my greatest love. When will Wonder Woman 2 take place? That is probably one of the most interesting questions. It has been confirmed that the film will take place in America, but not at what point in time. That alone offers a lot of opportunities. Possibility number one would have the film follow the events of both Wonder Woman and Justice League. That would mean that by then Wonder Woman's timeline would have caught up with the present. Which is why we would prefer a second possibility. Wonder Woman 2 should take place during World War II. It was during that time period that the comic book Wonder Woman started to fight evil. And even the Linda Carter show took place during that time. The Justice League films could therefore showcase the present adventures, while the Wonder Woman standalone films would continue to show the exciting past of Diana Prince. It would also be possible to combine the two timelines. What do you- The war! Well, technically the war is that way, but we gotta go this way first. What we want to see. Back to Themyscira. The world of the Amazons was already exciting in the first film, and Diana will probably suffer from homesickness. Her homeworld of Themyscira should definitely not be completely ignored, as it could offer Diana a tough choice. Will she stay on Earth, or will she return to Themyscira at some point in time? If you choose to leave, you may never return. How will I be if I stay? Aside from that, other Amazons could arrive on Earth as well. That alone could make for an interesting conflict. What if an Amazon decided to destroy our world of men? What if Diana was forced to go up against one of her sisters? Themyscira could definitely have a few surprises in store for us. Never let your guard down! You expect the battle to be fair! More magic and gods. Wonder Woman taught us that Ares killed all the gods, but we also know that no one ever really seems to die in the world of comic books. And to completely ban Zeus and all of the other Greek gods from the world of Wonder Woman would truly be a shame. Not only is Diana the daughter of Zeus himself, I was brought to life by Zeus. But especially the New 52 comic books expanded the roles of the gods drastically. So maybe we will get to see one or several gods in the future. As the Justice League Dark promises to introduce magic into the DCU, gods could also come to play. What do you expect to defeat Zeus if you can't even beat a girl? A compelling villain. Wonder Woman left the fate of the villainous Dr. Poison a mystery. Should the sequel take place during the 30s or 40s, Dr. Poison could definitely return to fight Wonder Woman once more. However, if DC chooses to leave Poison out of the sequel completely, there are still plenty of villains to choose from that exist in comic book lore. First up on our list is Cersei, a mighty and century-old magician who is one of Wonder Woman's biggest enemies. But since magician is that powerful, it may take the entire Justice League to defeat her. Fans are also hoping for Cheetah, who caused Wonder Woman trouble ever since her comic book beginnings. What do you want, Cheetah? To hurt you, Diana. What else? Another interesting villain would be Giganta, who is able to grow in size and already attempted to swap bodies with Wonder Woman in the past. Out of my way, Jumbo. Ow! Diana also faced bizarre villains like Ek Fu, Medusa, the Olympic Gods, and Dr. Psycho. No matter who DC chooses, we want it to be a worthy villain. Who do you want to see as the main? I've had a lot of practice fighting you. The Invisible Jet. Okay. Okay, this may sound silly, but we would really like to see the invisible jet in the sequel. Well, poor choice of words. We want to not see it, since it's invisible. The old TV show made it look fun, and it would be cool to see Wonder Woman finally cruising around in her signature vehicle. To the Batmobile. Dang it. To the invisible jet. Tie-ins to the DCEU. Should Wonder Woman take place in present day, we would like to see guest appearances. Individual members of the Justice League should pop up, and we especially would like to see Batman. 
His inclusion could lead to the first on-screen superhero couple. After all, the two of them are constantly flirting with one another in the comic books, much to the dismay of Superman. Would you like to see Betsy and Wonder Woman together? Let us know in the comment section below. Even though it is not sure when Wonder Woman 2 will hit the theaters, but it seems certain though that she will blow us away once more with the sequel.